Welcome back to Chasing Walleye. In this episode, we're going to take a look at all the tournaments entered this year and the lakes that we fished at. We traveled across the southern parts of Alberta and Saskatchewan, located in Western Canada. Starting in my home province of Alberta was our first tournament, located at 40 Mile Reservoir in Southern Alberta. This is an artificial man-made reservoir that has been stocked with walleye. It is now known as a trophy walleye location there is a large population of perch for these walleye to eat on, and therefore you get a lot of walleye over 30 inches. The boat launch is located on the north end of the reservoir. During the tournament, there's only one area of the reservoir that is off limits, and that is near the spillway, marked out by buoys. There is a dual boat launch and plenty of parking, making this an ideal tournament location. Next, we're off to Saskatchewan, to the town of Regina Beach, located on the last mountain lake. This is the largest natural lake in southern Saskatchewan, and again is a trophy walleye location. This 10,000 year old lake is naturally filled by the watershed from the surrounding area. Being such an old lake, it has a healthy ecosystem and a very large population of bait fish for those walleyes to munch on. Regina Beach is located on the southern end of the lake where the boat launch and tournament starts. The northern boundaries of the tournament are given by GPS coordinates to the tournament participants. There is a four lane public boat launch that is great to use for the day of the tournament. Still staying in Saskatchewan, we're off to the Elbow Walleye Classic on Lake Diefenbaker. This lake is an artificial reservoir created on the South Saskatchewan River. The walleye populations are strong in this lake, however, considering the size of the lake, they can be harder to find. Additionally, in some parts of this lake, you will actually notice the river flowage, so locations can act more like a river than a lake. The town of Elbow serves as a starting point for the tournament, with a northern and western boundaries marked by GPS location for tournament participants. There is on-lake services like gas, and bait if you need them. Going back to Alberta for our next tournament, it is located on the Travers Reservoir in Southern Alberta. This is probably one of the deepest reservoirs on the prairies, with spots on the lake reaching up to 100 feet in depth. In the last couple years, the Government Conservation Department has marked this lake as showing the walleye population in danger. However, with these recent tournament results, it shows that the walleye population is pretty healthy. Tournament days start at the Provincial Park boat launch on the western side of the lake. Whole lake is open for fishing, except for areas near the spillway that are marked by buoys. There is a dual boat launch here, however it can get pretty rough sometimes and the parking is limited. Getting back to Saskatchewan, we're off to the Summer Heat Tournament at Sask Landing Provincial Park. The park is located at the western end of Lake Diefenbaker. Once again, with Lake Diefenbaker being so large, you have a lot of area to check for these walleye. With the tournament being on the western edge of the lake, you're fishing more of a flowage river system than a lake. Sask Landing is located right next to the only bridge crossing on the entire lake. With the western and eastern boundaries far from the tournament starting position at the boat launch, there's plenty of lake for everyone to fish. A full service marina and a quad boat launch with plenty of parking gives the over 100 boats registered in this tournament an outstanding experience. To finish the tournament trail season off, we're going back to Last Mountain Lake for the Fall Walleye Classic. This is considered to be the wrap-up tournament of the year where prizes and year-end awards are handed out to the trail participants. Unfortunately this year, Mike and I didn't win any of those awards. However, we did win an amazing door prize 
probably worth over a thousand dollars. So we were really grateful for that. The start of the tournament and all of the events happen at Rowan Ravines Park. The southern and northern boundaries are given to the participants by GPS. Even with those boundaries, there's plenty of room on that lake for all those boats. The tournament organizers put on an amazing and memorable tournament that we'll remember for years to come. And if you forget anything for the tournament, the full service marina can get you anything you need for chasing walleye. Oh, 